Volki. That's Russian for wolves, and it's become Wolverhampton Wanderers' nickname during their Moscow visit. Between matches, they tour the capital and enter the Kremlin, the historic fortress which is the seat of the Soviet government. With them goes our cameraman, Cedric Baines, first British newsreel man to be allowed inside its towering walls. The skipper, Billy Wright, and manager, Stan Cullis, make some friends, while other team members examine a giant 36-inch mortar made in 1586. Do they feel like practicing with that little lot? Against the Kremlin wall in Red Square is the tomb where Lenin and Stalin lie in bound. Members of the Wolves team visit this immense shrine. Since Lenin died, the queue of visitors has never ceased, night or day. The Wolves players meet farmers from Kazakhstan and Mongolia by the huge bell which was cast by Peter the Great. This bell was never hung. It was dropped during installation, killing scores of people and damaging the bell itself, which has remained a Kremlin exhibit. Flowers and Morris follow two Red Army soldiers into the Kremlin Museum, where they mingle with Muscovites to study the treasures of Russia's past. British sportsmen and a British cameraman wandering freely around the Kremlin. Surely the Iron Curtain is melting away at last. May it never return.